there everyone, Mark from MPV Aviation Illustrations. It's been a little while since I've posted my uh, videos up on YouTube. Um, for all those followers, thank you for being loyal to my channel for the last 10 years. Uh, back in 2014 when I started the channel, it was about aviation illustrations, as the title says. Um, I was focused on freehand sketching and design illustration. Uh, over the last 10 years, things have evolved in my world. Um, my profession as an industrial designer, I've always loved aircraft, has now joined um, in a fusion of, um, let's say, my interest of aviation. Um, as of last year, I met a gentleman by the name of Rene Rosentrager through Instagram, and we have joined forces to develop 3D printed remote control aircraft. Um, this all stemmed from uh, the lockdown period where I was 3D modeling and 3D printing my own large scale static models. Um, examples here of the tornado and a mirage that I developed back in about 2018, 2019, and then um, made during the lockdowns. It's an example of one of our remote control jets that Renee and I are developing. So hopefully on my channel, you'll see uh, what I've been up to and see some of the development of the CAD work that um, Renee and I are doing. Um, I'm responsible for the SolidWorks development of all our designs and uh, Renee is responsible for making them fly. Um, I don't have any remote control experience as a remote control pilot, so maybe on this channel we will experience how I step up to that challenge and see whether I can actually fly a remote control aeroplane. But um, thanks again to all of those who have viewed my channel over the last 10 years. I know that um, I've let everyone down on the aviation illustration side of things, but uh, hopefully um, those of you who uh, have been um, following are interested in what I am doing and what I'm getting up to now and will continue to follow on. And for all of those of you who are new to the channel, um, hopefully you get a bit of an insight into what Renee and I are getting up to in our projects. Having decided that our JRM jet was too large, Renee and I went through the process of scaling down the aircraft and getting it to some uh, new proportions, still keeping all the uh, fans and internal components the same, but changing some of the geometry and the layout of the aircraft. One of the key changes was the overall length and scaling of the jet. So it could have been a simple exercise of just shrinking our original model down. Um, however, we decided there were certain areas of the jet that required uh, some serious weight reduction. And one area was the tail area here. So we've reduced and sliced out 61 millimeters off the rear of the jet. Towards the front, um, we've also looked at a new cockpit layout. This is currently the, still the old cockpit, but um, it will change. And we've also widened the jet, which had a significant impact on the way uh, the 3D model was going to be redeveloped.
Here is a quick view of the evolution of our JRM-1 model. The JRM-01 very first design at the top in blue. Our JRM-01B version which had a centre of gravity that was a little too far back so the nose section was stretched to create a, our JRM-01C. Uh, the B model here has the winglets of our most recent design uh, attached to them because it shares the same wings as our C model. Um, as you can see a lot of the features have been taken over from our predecessor which was the JRM-01. Some work happened here in the front area of the cockpit, cleaner cockpit, uh, nicer lines. That seam line running through to the nose was accentuated on our B and C model. On the C model, the nose extension increased our front strakes here. So this area here has been stretched forward and we have also increased the distance from the main vertical VTOL thrusts towards the third jet which is sitting under the cover here for our front ducted fan. All in all we're very happy with the way the design has progressed. Um, it's in our opinion looking better and better as we're getting closer to our final design and closer to our first flight tests. Up to this point, Renee and I had been seriously invested in the vertical takeoff and landing version of the jet. Um, but the one area that we were concerned about was its reliability in the transition phase. So we scaled back the development on the VTOL and considered doing a release of the conventional takeoff and landing version of the JRM. And uh, it would allow us to at least offer a reliable model. Uh, giving us a bit more time to develop the VTOL version and have that as one of our upcoming products. For the release of our CTOL jet, I prepared some animations using SolidWorks and SolidWorks Visualize to demonstrate some of the unique features, the surface detail, and the movement of components. In preparation for the launch of our JRM01, I used my Bamboo Lab Carbon X1 printers to lay out the test components and to check uh, geometry, fit and feel prior to sending all the files over to Renee for flight testing. And I also used this opportunity to give the aircraft a bit of a spray paint and a spray job to make it look a little more appealing than just plain white PLA. If you've got this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking by. Um, hope to share more work between Renee and myself on this channel um, in the next coming months. 
uh, we will be releasing our box wing soon. And that's a project that's dear to my heart because it is actually a design that I came up with for my Instagram avatar and Renee has been able to make it work and fly. So very exciting project coming up. Um, I'll give a bit of insight into what's happened there as well. Um, if there are any comments or you would like to know more about the project, more about the CAD work and the solids modeling and surface modeling that I do, please get in touch. Uh, let me know what you would like to see on this feed. Um, if you would like to see more aviation illustrations um, peppered in between some of the things that Renee and I are working on, uh, please be sure to leave a note below and uh, I look forward to sharing some more stuff on the next video. Um, be sure to check out Renee's flight videos and some of our development on his YouTube channel and uh, hopefully we will see you soon. Thanks.